Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Himali Upadhyay from Gujarat University. My topic is Calixarine, a new approach for spotting explosives. First of all, we will discuss about... Uh, Himali, can you uh, put it on slideshow mode? Yeah. First of all, we will discuss about uh, existing methods about explosive detection. Currently, color test, laboratory examination like spectroscopic test, HPLC, GC are used for explosive detection. Uh, like color tests are just a tentative method for uh, presence or screening of uh, explosives. Where uh, in spectroscopic method, different uh, explosive shows different absorbance peak according to their functional group. Like uh, trinitrotoluene shows uh, 230 nanometer and picric acid shows 360 nanometer. So we can say these methods are time consuming and expensive. Uh, as we talk about uh, color test, if sample collected from the crime scene has uh, impurities or mixture of two or more explosives, they do not give proper result or uh, might give false positive results too. So we use the new method, which is calixarine. Uh, we discuss the special characteristic of calixarine. Uh, first of all, cal uh, Calixarine have a characteristic concave molecular architecture. Like uh, calixarine shows different molecular structures, shapes, uh, and uh, sizes like bow structure, cone structure, like partial cone and crown structure. Uh, then they have a different variable inner cavity size. Like uh, if we discuss, we compare calyx four arene with calyx eight arene. Calyx 8 arene have a larger cavity size in comparison of calyx 4 arene. Uh, so according to the number of carbons, like calyx 4 arene or calyx 6 arene or calyx 8 arene, we have a different cavity size for uh, our detection purpose. After that, they have a remarkable derivatization capacity because of uh, they have more open sites for uh, on their upper rim and lower rim more attachments are possible and more derivatization is possible. After that, they are fundamental building elements of supramolecular chemistry. Like supramolecular chemistry involves resource in arene, cucurbitaril, crown ethers, and others, in which calyxarene have a simplest synthesis process, uh, simple molecular structure, and uh, characterization properties. So the research on uh, calixarine are uh, uh, done more in comparison of other uh, uh, molecules. So uh, we can say that calixarine are a main building element of supramolecular chemistry. After that, we will discuss the detection of nitroaromatic compounds with calixarine. First of all, diamino anthraquinine trans nitro oxacalyx 4 arene was used to detect n methyl paranitroaniline in which the spectroscopic method is used in uv visible uh, calyx shows uh, at uh, absorbance peak at 396 nanometer which gets blue shifted to 390 nanometer in presence of n methyl paranitroaniline after that uh, a receptor made up of paraphenylene ethylene trimer integrated with calyx 4 arene and tertiary butylphenol, which is used to, to de uh, detect different aromatic compounds like uh, picric acid, nitrobenzene, uh, trinitrotoluene, and dinitrotoluene from solid and fluid phases. So, here uh, is a structure of calyx 4 arene and trinitrotoluene, which uh, gets attached to calyx. So this way the complex is formed. Next, tetramethoxy uh, resource in arene is uh, used. Uh, tetramethoxy resource in arene and two ethyl thalamine is used for four nitrotoluene. In this uh, reaction, UV visible spectroscopy is used 
which shows the detection limit up to 50 micromole to 1 nanomole. Then a receptor which is made up of calyx 4 arene modified with naphthalamide derivative is used to detect trinitrotoluene. Uh, so this receptor is shown here which uh, detects the trinitrotoluene. In this uh, uh, spectroscopic method, detection limit we get uh, up to 29 nanomole. Then Chong Wu and all created a hexa homo trioxa calyx 3 arene based receptor for trinitrophenol and 4 nitrophenol recognition, in which uh, high hydro, uh, high, very high uh, acidic hydroxyl group and electron deficient character of hexa homo trioxa calyx 3 arene, their fluorescence intensity rapidly decreases when they interact with trinitrophenol in uh, which 4-nitrophenol uh, exhibit just show moderate quenching. So from this, we can conclude that calyxerine have a good specificity and selectivity. Uh, they have a quick response time. So they can be used as an on-site detection method. They can be a good alternative, met uh, alternative method to traditional method uh, like uh, our color test. We can replace our color test with uh, good uh, calyx molecules. Uh, calyxerine have a lower detection limit than other methods. Uh, calyxerine are uh, non-carcinogenic and non-toxic. So they are uh, uh, helpful to forensic uh, uh, personality too, for expert. And here are the references. Thank you.